Welcome to the Arizona desert. And would you believe that we are surrounded by algae? This massive algae lab has researchers saying they found work that will have a huge impact on food and fuel. Don't let the laboratory tubes, liquids, and colors fool you. What you're looking at is really a farm. But instead of growing field crops like corn, soybeans, or alfalfa, this farm has fields of tanks bubbling with algae. People have been eating algae for centuries, but very specific ones, and for very specific purposes, as a substitute protein source. And in some, some cultures, because they taste good. Uh, we just simply haven't exploited. We haven't had to. We've always had something else that was further along technologically and stuff, and so we haven't had to look. Well, what are some other possibilities? Unlike crops that require sunlight, water, and soil, these algae bioreactors require only sunlight and water, making it possible to place them in atypical growing locations like the Arizona desert. This 80,000 gallon facility is on Arizona State University's Polytechnic campus. Scientists here are researching thousands of strains of algae in hopes of creating new sources of food and fuel. You can make just about everything out of the algae that you make from all other crop plants. From the standpoint of feedstock, their productivity is so much greater than other types of crop plants that you, you can actually get more tonnage per acre than you can get from other crop plants. So where some might see slime, and this tab is going to show you which, what your are. these scientists see solutions that offer a wide variety of products. Let's start with this. What do we have here? I start with that because it's green. Yeah. This is algae biomass. This is basically algae cells that have been taken out of the water that we grow them in. Okay. So we've taken the algae cells out of the water. They've been dried at this stage. And so that is the algal biomass or the feedstock for all the other products that we're going to get from the algae. Okay. So this would be the first stage of going to what? In this particular case, we have algae oil or what we call Arizona crude because it's been grown in Arizona. And this is, this is basically crude oil that's been extracted from this biomass. And approximately 40 to 50% of this biomass that you see here is oil or lipid. So what's the other percentage? What's the rest? The rest basically is protein and carbohydrate and minerals. And so you, the protein and carbohydrate, once you take the oil out of that biomass, represents about 40 to 50% of what's left over. And this can be used as an animal feed, uh, high protein. The carbohydrate is also food. Uh, it can also be fermented uh, to produce ethanol. So I th think that is a reality that we will have cost efficient fuels, hopefully within the next 20, 30 years, as you say, maybe even sooner. Researchers say that one positive in algae production is its rapid growth. In this section of the photobioreactors, it's doubling at least once per day. Once per day? There's the value, you say, with using algae because it grows so much faster than certain other crops. Correct. The theoretically, one could pull half of the algae culture off every day and you'd have just as much at the end of the day as it you started with. 8.99 and 23.8. The challenge here is not only in production, but in creating a process that delivers food and or fuel in a cost-effective manner. It's still about the money. I think it's about the money. And keeping in mind that the algae represent a relatively new technology. While we've known they produce oil for a long time, and maybe they were the source of the original petroleum, we, it requires a whole set of new technologies to take it to scale from the standpoint of competing with an industry that's 100 years old. Still, the team is optimistic. We're making incredible strides every day. So it's all steps in the process of taking raw biomass or algae and turning it into a product. We are making it more cost efficient every step in the process every day. 
And while you're waiting for success in fuel production, you can always enjoy algae in another form. Rob, algae does a lot, but yes, I say the best to the last. All right, what do you have? I have some algae cookies. Cookies? <laughs> Are you serious? Of course, I'm serious. All These right. are algae cookies that were made you just made. for you. My wife made them. Mm. It's like a butter cookie. Better than that. An algae cookie. <laughs> From an algae expert. <laughs>